This is Elliot Haspel, and welcome to another edition of Best Practices Weekly. Today we're going to be talking about organizing your class discussions in math using a tool known as a talk frame. And this comes from an article in Teaching Children Mathematics in which a University of Connecticut professor and a teacher from Connecticut talk about the usage of this talk frame tool as a way to both give you an understanding about what your students are certainly at with their mastery of a particular skill and also give your students a reference for when they're doing individual work on the math topic. And a talk frame has three different components. It's essentially an interactive graphic organizer that you put together as a class. The first component is the think component. And this is when you're going to, taking class input, rewrite the math question at hand in the student's own words. And so the example they give in the article is of a third grade symmetry lesson, and they were looking at pictures of a leaf and thinking about the symmetrical nature of the leaf. And the students were walked through and eventually got to the point of wanting to reframe the question as, is the leaf symmetrical? After that, you got this idea of talk ideas. And this is when you're recording all of the ideas that students are surfacing in the class discussion, whether or not they're right or they're wrong. This is just a place to write down all the different ideas coming out. This is also going to give you as the teacher a pretty strong sense of are most of these answers that are coming out right, or are most of them wrong, is there a common misunderstanding? So it can give you a lot of information about where your students are at. The third piece of this is the we understand. And after having a class discussion, what this means is that you're going to essentially summarize the conclusion the class has come to. And it's important that by the time you get to this part of the graphic organizer, this part of the talk frame, you've really helped your students reach the correct conclusion. Now, it's a pretty simple structure, like I said, but the key to it is really the teacher facilitation. So, it's about leading students to really push their thinking further, to bounce off each other's ideas, asking them follow-up questions, and really using this a talk frame as just that, a frame that is going to guide what the students are talking about, it's going to guide the flow of the discussion. And then, when you move on into individual work, individual writing to respond to math questions, you leave the talk frame at the front of the room, and students can refer back to it. The hope is, and what the authors found was actually true, at least in the symmetry lesson, is that students aren't just copying the ideas off of the talk frame, they're using it as a jumping off point to synthesize ideas to make their own extension of an idea. And so, if you want to think about where this fits in the broader lesson, you essentially would have your class activities doing whatever you're doing in math, and then the talk frame leads the discussion, and then you move your stu students on to their individual work. And so, Again, the talk frame is really sort of a, a straightforward but powerful way to help organize your class discussions around math so that students are really being pushed to think about why math works the way it does and be able to be forced to really articulate what their understanding is. So thanks for watching and happy teaching.